Hi friends, Michael Essek here. A uh, couple of days ago, we launched this new feature called Sketch to Design or Sketch to Image inside of Ideally. Uh, we've updated it, we've made it better. I uh, wanted to walk you through some of the updates here in this quick video. But first, um, I kind of give you kind of a live example. Ideally is more than just uh, an AI image generator. We do incorporate all the latest AI image models under one roof. But what we also are, and what we are first and foremost, is a ability, a, a software to help you generate ideas. So um, we've got Halloween coming up. Um, a great uh, word for Halloween is like good, you know, for like pumpkin. That's a way to generate ideas is to kind of do this kind of replacement pun thing. So I can come over here to the uh, the rhyme and replace tool in Ideally. I can put in the word gourd and I can see all these ideas uh, pop out in front of me like uh, so help me gourd or gourd save the queen. And I was doing this one the other day and obviously you can scroll through. You can get hundreds of ideas and saw this one here. It says gourdzilla. And uh, that one just kind of jumped out at me like, oh, yeah, that, that would be great for a T-shirt. You know, we can see that how that would work, you know, like a pumpkin Godzilla tearing through the uh, through the town or whatever. So um, rather than like try and just ask AI to do that off the bat, what I've done is I've done a little sketch. So this is kind of one of the great use cases for this new sketch to uh, design feature is when you've got an idea and you've got a sketch. Um, I'm just going to upload this one here and I'll just show you what it looks like. Uh, so yeah, this is like my very rough sketch uh, whoops, of Godzilla. So this is kind of, uh, hopefully you can see kind of a, a rough pumpkin kind of face, but I still want like the body of Godzilla, if that makes sense. And kind of the word, the, the text underneath it. And this is where sketch to design is really useful because AI is great for kind of you know, first draft ideas and visual brainstorming and stuff. But when you want control, when you actually want to say, oh, I want this, you know, I want this to be here. I want the style to be like this. I want the arms to be there. I want the tail to be there. I want the text to be here. Uh, you know, you, can, you don't have that level of control with AI, um, unless maybe you are willing to sit there and type out, you know, extra long prompts and try all these variations of prompts to try and get it to do things exactly as you want it. Obviously, that is a pay limitation and it takes a long time versus what you can do with a pen and pencil. And as you can see this, I've just drafted this up in my little notebook, uh, which is typically how I would sketch out a lot of my ideas. I would, I would first draft them with a pen and pencil or on the iPad, but it would be a very rough sketch like this. And obviously, this gives you a level of control that you don't have when you are writing a prompt. Not to mention the fact that writing a prompt is very time consuming and a bit of a pain compared to, you know, pulling out a pencil and just like actually sketching something quickly. So uh, there's my Godzilla sketch and I can just ask, uh, I can just create image right off the bat. I don't have to type anything in. I don't have to even select a style or anything. I can just say, here's my sketch, go and have a go at that. And that's what ideally is doing now it's going to send that over and uh, in a couple of seconds here it's going to come back with a first a kind of a blank sheet version of of what it uh, what it does with that design so here you can see um, it's done a great job it's let me just pull up my sketch so we can see again this is what we whoops this is what we gave it um, and that is what it has it has done with that. So obviously, overall layout is right. Um, you know, it's got it's done the pumpkin on the head. It's obviously understood that this is like a pumpkin. Again, I didn't t tell it any of that. I didn't say, uh, you know, do Godzilla as a pumpkin. It's just done that. You know, it's figured out what the what the sketch is supposed to be, and it's done a very good job. Text is in the right place. Obviously, the illustration looks really good. Uh, as a, certainly as a first kind of layout and approach. And it's generally kept very closely to my sketch. And this is exactly how I would expect uh, a sketch like this to be interpreted by an illustrator, by a designer, uh, something like this. So that's their first draft. Now we don't have to go with that. Uh, we can actually, oh, this is a new feature we've just added, by the way. Uh, you can uh, now regenerate 
a sketch based uh, image right off the bat. So if you if you're not super impressed with the first one, you can just hit the regenerate uh, icon here on that image, and that will send it back over and basically just generate second image. So this is how you can get some variations in approach, some variations in style, some variations in color without, again, doing anything. So, okay, here, so similar, certainly, and similar color-wise, but some differences in the, yeah, we've got differences in the illustration, and uh, obviously this is kind of on a white background with the with the city behind it, which is cool. But yeah, you can do that, you can regenerate the image. You're not going to get crazy different variations in style, but you will get kind of minor changes to the illustration style or something like that. So, that's one thing. Um, let me just go ahead here and we'll upload that sketch again. And this time, uh, let's just select a couple of styles that we've got here already baked into Ideally. So here in Ideally, you can see we've got lots of visual styles. We've been adding these over uh, a long time and you can select a few of these. Um, let's go for an 80s one and we'll just go for this kind of simple t-shirt one and we'll go for a kawaii one. And so I'm just going to select these styles and this is going to say take the sketch and do it in each of these different styles that I've selected. So you can select up to five at a time and then what it's going to do is take that sketch, try to replicate it in that style. And again, this is very closely replicating uh, my workflow with when I hire or outsource work to illustrators. I usually give them a sketch, I usually give them a reference image, a style image, and that is what they have to go off. And here we've got the first one back in a kind of vintage retro style. Um, so again, it has kept pretty well to the sketch, you know, the positioning, the layout, the direction of the thing. It's understood exactly what we're doing there for Godzilla. Obviously it's kind of doubled up on the text, but whatever. Uh, nice simple version there. Here's a crazy 80s version, which is very detailed in its uh, illustration style. Not really what I had in mind, but again, looks like a t-shirt design, looks professional. Uh, has made some changes there with like the positioning and stuff, but again, it's it's got the general gist of the idea. <laughs> okay, this one's it's, this one seems to have taken a bit too much maybe from the. Uh, from the initial style image and kind of rendered it as a kind of frog, but uh, but okay, interesting. And then we've got a very cute uh, kawaii one that's come back with just the pumpkin head. But again, this is a great way to, this is not exactly what I had in mind, of course, but it is a great way to visualize different options and ideas and spark things that you maybe wouldn't have thought of before. Now, just one final thing, which is if you do have a particular style in mind for your sketch so here we've got the sketch um you know it's great to kind of brainstorm with these but if you've actually got something already that you're like oh this style is what i want then you can add that so i found this kind of old godzilla vintage t-shirt um i'm just gonna try and replicate it or try and render my sketch in that style and again you could take like any image um, you could take your previous designs and replicate them in the style of those previous designs. I'll show you that here in a second. But yeah, basically like any image, you could upload that as a reference image and it will try to match that style, but obviously do the sketch. So um, so yeah, this has worked pretty nicely here. So it's got the kind of vintage vibe. Uh, it's used the colors. We've got more of a silhouette type of... Um, type of illustration but again like you can see how well this has adapted that but it's kept pretty faithfully that's kind of what i had in mind this kind of sketch but this kind of style so um yeah let me just show you one more uh case where we can do so this is great for for situations like that also really good for just giving you an illustration um so here i've got this little frog uh he's just a little guy on a lily pad with a guitar and a hat and again, I'm just going to wildcard this one, see how it does. So situations where you have a sketch and you just want the illustration, you just want to see different variations of how to render that illustration. So you don't necessarily want a full design with text and everything, which could can sometimes complicate matters, but you just want to get a, a, a version of that. So 
again there's my uh, frog sitting on the lily pad and you can see it's kept pretty faithfully there it's kind of messed up a little bit with the legs but that's probably my fault because I've gone a bit janky with my sketch with the legs anyway I've confused it uh, but anyway that's a that's a nice illustration however that's obviously not going to help us when it comes to t-shirt design that's not uh that's not a style we can really use for a t-shirt so i'm going to select again a few of these styles so give me vintage retro give it me in this two-tone style give it me in this simple ink style give it me in a simple t-shirt style and give it me in a vintage retro style so i've selected all those styles and uh, let's see what it does with this so again this is where i i just want an illustration you know i can handle the text myself if there's text for the design but i want to see how do you take this sketch how do you take this kind of basic bare bones skeleton of a of an illustration and render it in different illustrative styles and that's going to help me decide you know what style is best which is most appropriate uh you know all kinds of decisions flow from that as you're putting together a final design so uh our first one here this frog so it's actually added text so that happens quite often it, because we're asking it for a design it's actually sometimes adding some text of its own or it's making up some text which is fine i'm not going to use that but uh, it's the illustration i'm focused on here which obviously is going to be relatively easy to pull out of here so this is really nice you know it, it's obviously a professional sketch now it's got everything as i wanted it it looks great it's cartoony but it's kind of got that kind of vintage retro look to it as well um okay great so this is exactly what i like to see so we've got you know two completely different uh illustrative interpretations of the same sketch so here's the sketch but we've got it now in a realistic kind of hand-drawn style again a bit of a mess up with the leg but no big deal um and a much more kind of vector cartoony style and that's great you know I, I love that ability to be able to say this style versus that style and to pick which one works best for the for the particular design i'm i'm doing um this one has come back with a nice uh i'm just going to say kind of hybrid approach between the two um it's cartoony but it's not you know flat vector like that it's it's still got a kind of hand-drawn vibe so that's nice and again, you know, you get the point here. This is visual brainstorming. This is giving me options. This is allowing me to pick and choose and see which of these illustrative styles I want to use for my final design, which is going to work best, which one maybe gives a, uh, you know, carries the joke better or something like that. Uh, but yeah, lots of, lots of variations here, lots of different things we can do. And uh, okay, we've got didn't like something there but we've got one back for our vintage sunset one and again like this is really good at faithfully you see how faithfully this has rep replicated my sketch because you know look at the eyes look at where the mouth okay it's not it's not a one-to-one -one match but it's really quite faithful to what i've given it and this is you know this is about as um it, it's not it, all the way there but it's almost as good as outsourcing to an illustrator or designer and especially when you want kind of simple text and graphic uh, designs where you just need a, a nice you know custom illustration of x with the text uh, this is great for that um, and brainstorming those things so just wanted to run through that uh, a few things that we've we've updated um since earlier in the week when we launched the feature you can now uh, just click on any image and it will show you the full size size image here in the uh, in the page previously you had to kind of like view the full image but you can just uh, whoops you can just click the uh, the thing there to see the full size um, you can now replicate you can you can regenerate any image uh, across the board so um, whoops I uh, accidentally upscaled one of those, which is fine. Uh, but yeah, if you want to try this one again, you can just hit regenerate image and it's going to send the original sketch along with the original style back to the um, back to the system so it can bring back you a, a variation based on that. So that wasn't possible previously. Previously, you had to like re-upload the sketch every time and, and stuff like that. But we're now saving that data uh, so you can regenerate stuff. Uh, you can regenerate stuff that's generated from a sketch um you can regenerate stuff that's 
that you've uploaded a style for and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I think that will do us for this video. Um, have a play around. Uh, please do check out Ideally. You can check it out at ideally.app. Um, you know, just set up an account and then we have a whole new uh, plan, the plus plan where you get access to all of this. Actually, this sketch to design is also available on the starter plan right now. Um, so you can test it out for as little as $24 a month. Obviously, you can cancel that any time. But uh, I think if you're an illustrator, you want that kind of extra level of control over your AI generations, you want to be able to give it more information and get back more accurate, more kind of personalized results, then um, then I think you'll enjoy playing around with this. So go and have a play around with it, ideally.app. Uh, hit me up with any feedback, suggestions, what you'd like to see next, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, thank you very much. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.